bite together. Turn away from me a little bit. Now I want to make sure I have enough clearance to put gold between there. And so I use this gauge. This is a half a millimeter thick. If I fold it in threes, that's a millimeter and a half thickness. So you say, how do you know if you have enough reduction on the biting surface? We put this in here, and I can tell you I don't, so I'm just showing you how it works. And bite together, squeeze, and open. And if I don't have enough clearance, she will have bit through that. Do you see where she bit through? Mm -hmm. So I know, and I can kind of go back on with this wax and show myself, well, where was that? Hmm. Take that thin spot and I can actually point right through it to the wax and go right, right there so I can see it. She's doing great for clean. And now we're going to pr press a little piece of string in between the tooth and the gum. And this is going to create, there's a chemical on this called epinephrine, which is a naturally occurring chemical in the body. It's what creates your heart racing when you almost get in an accident. It constricts blood vessels and is dipped in an agent called a hemostatic agent, which means that if there's any bleeding, around the tooth, which there sometimes is, it kind of coagulates it so that it stops bleeding. We get a nice dry field for the impression. The only reason we're doing this is I want to capture in a, a, in a mold of this tooth all of these margins perfectly well. So if I push this in between the tooth and the gum and let it sit for a couple minutes, it creates a nice little crevice, like a moat around the tooth that after it's gone, it fills right back in, the tissue collapses right back in in a few minutes. So I'm pushing in here. And this might be a little bit uncomfortable if she weren't numb. It's not super painful. But it's not the string itself, it's the medication that it's impregnated with that is doing the work. The string adds a mechanical separation, but the medication acts on the tissue to cause the change. So the tissue around it turns kind of light in color. Can you see that? Remember? Mm -hmm. See how it's turned kind of light compared to that? It looks almost white. Uh-huh. That means it's working. It works relatively quickly. And if there's any blood, there's a little bit right there. Mm -hmm. The hemostatic agent makes it turn kind of brown. It just basically clots the little tiny capillaries that are seeping in that area. Sometimes the fillings go way under the gum line, depending on how deep the cavity was or the crack. And so you get some little bit of bleeding. She's going to bite into this tray. It's going to have goo on both sides. Bite together. She's going to bite just like that, and when we open it, go ahead and open, it'll have an impression or mold of both sides of those teeth. They're going to then pour plaster into both sides of those to make replicas of the teeth, and they'll be able to make a crown from that. And I'll show you a final product of that. I'm going to squirt this impression material around the tooth. It's going to set up like a firm putty in a little bit. That's perfect.